A deaf mother with a dead husband and a son in a wheelchair. It is a sad story and a scam that has popped up on care.com. Kristen Severance has a consumer justice alert tonight. I want to be a broadcast journalist. Jordan Lyle needed a job while she looked for a career in her field. But it would just be something, hey, I'm available for the summer. Do something because, I mean, kids are out of school. The recent University of North Texas graduate nannied through college. She went to care.com to line up a gig. And it's like pet sitting, house sitting, or child care, or nanny services. She got an email right away. A hearing impaired mom was moving to Texas desperate for help. Was offering $20 an hour, even though it was a single child, because um, she'd just gone through a really tragic experience. The woman's whole family was just in a car crash, killing her husband and injuring her son. And I was like, I can't imagine being out of state and being deaf and now your son's in a wheelchair. I like. And your husband died. Yeah, and your husband died. Like, it's just so sad. The mom sent their photo and all of the details. The picture was really sweet. I mean, it just looked like a kid that was experiencing how to use a wheelchair. His mom looked really loving. All Jordan had to do was buy and assemble a new wheelchair before the family arrived in Texas. The mom sent a check for $1,900. Jordan was to keep two fifty dollars and use the rest to pay for the wheelchair. Then she said, when I had it responded, I need you to take out the money and then go deposit it into another bank. And that's where I thought, this is weird. Jordan did a search and found the same thing happened to a California college student. And I was like, no. She called her bank and filed a police report. Care.com told me they warn about overpayment scams and have a safety center on the site, but it appears it's still happening. The website DailyScam.com reports 50 people have contacted them over the last six months with similar scam stories, all from Care.com. Jordan thinks the site can do more. The people who are contacting you should have that same type of background search. Care.com sent this email to Jordan after she contacted us. It warns of this exact scam. They recommend that people use the messaging system on Care.com so they can monitor the messages instead of using personal emails. They also said to use the report flag if something seems strange. Lastly, if someone is trying to pay you before you start a job, it's most likely likely a scam. Back to you. All right, Kristen, if you need consumer justice, you can call her using this information to contact her 